How's it going everybody? Mr. Green here and uh, my uh, new solar charge controller just came in. Um, I've been running a PWM one for well since I started with solar power and uh, it's just it just doesn't put out. I've got 130 watts of solar on the roof which isn't very much. It's not a very uh, sunny day that's for sure but uh, this charge controller you can see it right there it uh, it doesn't uh, it puts out on a beautiful sunny day I'd be lucky to get 5.5 amps and uh, so I got this uh, this new MPPT charge controller and I did a bunch of reviews on it and sure enough this one is true MPPT I bought it online it cost me about hundred and fifty dollars to get it here to Canada so um, get a little manual here and uh, a little bit of feedback this is a uh, eco worthy and there's the controller there now keep in mind in the pictures even to me it looked a lot bigger in the pictures I have pretty big hands but you can see it's not it's not a very big unit at all and beside this old charge controller it's really not that much bigger so anyways so we'll go through all the functions on it once I uh, get it all hooked up and we'll go through the manual and such but uh, so I'll get you set up here and we'll get uh, taking this one down and get this one hooked up so we'll be back here in a minute Okay, so we got to take this one apart, but here I'm going to show you real quick. I don't know if you can even see that on the screen. So the battery's at 13.8 volts. Uh, it says it's in nighttime mode, so it's not even taking anything in right now. Uh, it, less than one amp of current going in. And uh, so, all right, I'm going to disconnect the solar array first, making sure not to touch these wires together, because I guess the smart thing to do would be to disconnect your solar panels or pull the fuses but I'm just gonna do this and I'm gonna put ends on them proper connectors so make sure that doesn't touch anything and then there's just the battery cables left here the white because I'm using an old cable here the white is my hot and the black is my ground make sure these don't go anywhere near each other And then we'll pull this controller off. So I'm going to uh, put the 100 watt kit that I had originally bought, which was this charge controller and, uh, and the 100 watt solar panel so I'm gonna sell that and I'm gonna get uh, a 250 watt uh, 24 volt panel to, to go into this so anyways that's the old charge controller it's a 30 amp Pro Vista so all right well we'll get this one mounted on the wall where I want it And soon enough, this will be all getting taken down and brought out to our trailer out in the bush. Because today it's 7 degrees out. So, Celsius that is. So it's quite warm when it's been minus... It's been minus 30 degrees Celsius almost every night for the last month and, and some, actually. So... It's really nice to see some nice weather. Get the kids out of the house. We went down to the uh, the campsite on the weekend. And if you're not a subscriber, you can check out my old uh, videos there of uh, the campsite. And there'll be lots of new ones coming this summer. Anyways, all right. So we'll get the power hooked up first to the batteries get myself in here so you guys can see so I can see what I'm doing 
So. All right, just give me a second. Okay, sorry guys, the wife came out there. So I'll talk to her for a minute. actually gonna put ends on here I think so just give me a second here and I'll be back okay so I just put these little ends on here just to give it a better connection an easier connection negative and there's the positive Alright, so it's all hooked up. Okay, MO or MPP demo. So 1.7 amps and the PWM would be 1.32 amps, which is funny because my old charge controller was only not even putting out one amp. So now I'm getting 20 21 watts of power. They're set uh, in absorber right now, so they're at 14.6. I've got to now go through and set up where I want uh, it to cut off, which I'm going to probably go up to about 14.8 and then uh, set when it kicks back on. So, all right, guys. Well, thanks for checking out this video. And if you have any questions, um, feel free to leave uh, a comment down in the comment section. And uh, thanks for everybody for checking out this video. I will uh, do another more detailed video once I know a lot more about the controller and give you an accurate, uh, you know, what I think of it and such uh, come summertime when I get to use it more. So we'll talk to everybody soon. Remember to subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And as always, you can click that thumbs up button. We greatly appreciate it. Everybody have a good day.